In other words, we had agreed to make this film Uncle Meat together. And I would keep shooting and kept saying, well, when are we going to start putting the film together? But he never wanted to finish it. Because he's, you know, he didn't have a concrete mind like a beginning, a middle, and an end. And there was no real story. So by the second year, what happened is we went to Amsterdam in Holland, you know, in Holland. I'm explaining the answer. In Holland. You know, we, we, we played the, the Concert Cabal concert there. And then I had this idea that wouldn't it be great to see the mothers running around in Holland with the wooden shoes and the windmills and all that stuff. Yeah, thinking like an ordinary creative person, not like Zappa. Anyhow, we went there, and we were about to shoot, and Zappa got a call from Barbarella, Roger Vandine, to score Barbarella. So, you don't know Barbarella with Jane Fonda? No. Yeah, Zappa scored that? No, 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 he never did. Oh, I but he, he so. went, But he went... What happened is he went to France to talk to Vadim about it and left me with the guys in Holland. And meanwhile, I had been deserting my TV commercial career to be traveling around. We played Albert Hall, you know, and then we played Concha Cabal, and I was, uh, you know, doing a lot of filming of Zappa. It's part of my film. You know. But no, there's 14 more hours. So anyhow, he left, and I said, what am I doing here with the guys? You know, I can't direct them, you know, there's no point. And so I hopped on a plane, and I went home. So that was the end of our relationship. Meanwhile, I'm sitting with 14 hours. I had spent, of my own money, about $11,000, not to mention, you know, a year and a half or over 13 months devoted to this filming, you know, at home and everything. And so I said, if you're not going to finish it, I want to, you know, get my money back. And so, because you're never going to finish this film. So we had like, you know, that scene and I wound up suing him. I got a lawyer and I sued him for $50,000, you know, 11000 spent and all the time I put in. And we actually came to a compromise of 25000 in which he kept the 14 hours and I was allowed to keep my my film, which was supposed to be just for just for festival use, not to use it commercially. So after forty years, now I'm selling my little film, which you know a lot of people are thanking me for because they never saw the footage. Right. And I feel I'm doing his memory a service. I'm not ripping him off. I make the DVDs myself. I mean, I don't manufacture these things. I got to spend an hour making one DVD on my computer. So charging people nineteen ninety five and doing all that work, I don't think I'm making money on it. You know, to me it's a matter of my devotion to him and uh, and letting uh, sharing that stuff that we did together. And now as I say, all those fans are saying, how do we get to fourteen hours? <laughs>